Back time now is 9.15. Top notch artists will once again make a stop in West Michigan as Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park Summer Concert Series starts back up once again in 2021. Join us with who we can expect to see on stage and any changes this year. We welcome Director of Communication, John Vanderhagen. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me on this morning. Absolutely. I've seen some of the best acts ever and there's not a bad seat in the house. So tell us about the highlights of the upcoming series. Yeah, yeah. So as you mentioned, you know, we're really fortunate to have this gem right here in our backyard. It's truly a great place to see a concert. You don't have to drive across the state. You don't have to battle uh, par large parking lots. It's it's such a gem. So we're really excited that this year's series uh, is back, that we're able to safely present concerts here again as part of the Fifth Third Bank Summer Concerts here at Meyer Gardens. Uh, and we kick off the series on July 18th with a couple um, local um, kind of favorites. We've got the Grand Rapids Symphony returning to our stage. We've got the Verve Pipe. Um, and then our whole series, we're welcoming back not only some returning favorites like the Beach Boys, but also a lot of new acts this year. So acts like Shaky Graves. Uh, we've got Black Violin with the Blind Boys of Alabama. So a nice mix of our series uh, between some returning favorites and some new acts that have never played here at Meyer Gardens before. And I saw some nice uh, 90s alternative rock groups that I love that are going to be on there, too. I think I saw Collective Soul, Toad Wet Sprocket, which I saw a couple years ago, I think at the very end of the season. Uh, I love that. Yeah. So um, as far as people who've never been there or maybe people, people have been there a lot, we need to talk about how COVID restrictions, are they still going to be in place as things kind of change and shift within the state? Sure, yeah. So um, the Gardens continues to follow all federal and state guidelines, which uh, this year means that as of July 1st, um, there are no mask restrictions any longer and there are no um, social distancing restrictions. So um, the series will look a lot similar to when um, we had shows 2019 and before. Um, so we're not going to have any sort of reduced capacity. And obviously, if guests feel more comfortable wearing a mask, we encourage that, but it's not required after July 1st. Um, so a few things to know, you're welcome to bring your own picnic dinner. Uh, you, you're just not able to bring any outside alcohol or glass containers, but otherwise, if you want to pack a picnic dinner, that's fantastic. Uh, low rise beach chairs, bring a blanket. Um, all of our seating is general admission on the lawn. Um, so feel free to come find a great seat. Like you mentioned, there's not a great seat in the house. Even that last row provides great sight lines and great, um, great places to hear the shows from. I love this. Okay, so there are obviously some great perks by being a member at Meyer Garden Sculpture Park. So when do tickets go on sale and do you get a little bit of an extra nudge and maybe hop in front of the line just a little bit for being a member? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a great question. So for our members, um, tickets go on sale on June 26th. So that's a week from this coming Saturday, uh, right at 9 a.m. Members save $5 uh, per ticket during that pre-sale. Our members have an exclusive two-week window to buy tickets ahead of the general public. And then any tickets left uh, that are still remaining will go on sale to the general public starting on July 10th. Uh, so another great reason to become a member of Meyer Gardens. Not only does that get you uh, unlimited admission throughout the year, but often we have early exhibition openings for our members. We have special parties and then concert tickets is a great benefit for our members as well. Absolutely. And I brought my son out to one of the concerts. You can bring your kids to these concerts too. It's a family affair. Yeah, definitely. Not only our main Fifth Third Bank series, but also our Tuesday Evening Music Club is a great family atmosphere. Those shows happen. Um, our Tuesday Evening series runs every Tuesday in July and August, and those shows are free for our members and included in general admission for the general public. And I'm seeing a Sunday String series, too. Yeah, so Sunday Strings is something that we sampled last year, just kind of as a small um, way to get people out into the park. Uh, enjoy some chamber music. These are pop-up shows um, with members of the Grand Rapids Symphony and musicians from around West Michigan. Um, those happen on random Sundays throughout the year at 3 p.m. in different locations throughout the gardens and sculpture park. So just kind of a nice added benefit as you're out walking on a great summer uh, Sunday afternoon, you'll hear some chamber music pop-ups uh, throughout the summer. Well, so extremely excited to get back out there and hear some wonderful music again. Thank you for your time this morning. Yeah, thank you. We're excited to have you back. Absolutely. And learn more about those concerts and to find out if they're hiring, go to MeyerGardens.org slash concert number right there on their screen for you to call as well.